The Odd Pod. The Odd Pod. Hello and welcome again to The Odd Pod. And remember, you can subscribe to The Odd Pod, which means it's downloaded to your device automatically, which saves you the trouble of remembering to do so. Uh, Today we delve into the archive department and choose an episode of Kelly's Eye from the thousands of miles of cassette and open reel tape we have in there. This was first broadcast in 1994, featuring historian Peter Kelly and the late great David Collister, and we find them spitting in the street. Peter, what's Kelly's Eye looking at today? Well, today, David, you'll just have to bear with me for a moment, and the listeners, um, I'll apologise in advance while I go... (laughs) So what's Kelly spitting at today? <laughs> well, I've just spit on a stone. Yes. <laughs> well, you can clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were told to, if you remember. Yeah. Um, it's probably, oh, two months or more ago. Uh, we were recording out the White O, um, and a gentleman approached us and said, um, have you seen the spitting stone? And, of course, being knowledgeable men, we both said no, <laughs> and he sent us down here to look at it. Just outside the uh, nunnery, or just before the nunnery entrance as you go into Douglas then. Um, but I'm puzzled, and I suppose you are, as to what a spitting stone is anyway, are we? True. Well, um, for the benefit of listeners, if they just go past the main entrance to the nunnery, there's a lamp standard alongside it, and then there's another lamp standard probably 50 yards away. And in between, in between two, yes, yes. Um, set into the wall, it's actually recessed in, the wall's been built over it, is a slate stone which, despite the two street lights, at this time of night, we can't see very much of it. Um, and what this chap told us was that he was told by an old boy it was a spitting stone, and if you didn't wish to catch, uh, I think he said, the plague, it's more likely to have been the cholera, you had to spit on it. Uh, it was possibly an old gravestone or something, so I think this chap who told us has been spitting on it ever since. Um, I don't know what to make of it, um, it's definitely got writing on it, although it's extremely faded, and I suppose with the use of chalk dust or, or watering it or coming and looking on a frosty day, you might be able to read it. Mm. It's certainly the size and shape of a milestone. Uh, we forgot to measure, but I don't think we're a mile from the um, swing bridge, where, of course, the, there was a milestone. I think it's a little bit further out. But having said that, we don't know at what period in time this was built into the wall, and it could well have been moved down the road and incorporated because Sam Skillicorn, the builder from Onken, when he was building the spire of St Peter's, incorporated a headstone into that and uh, tried to fool people that Elizabeth Hayes was buried um, high up in the sky. So um, it could be uh, somebody's joke. It could actually be in a milestone uh, measured from Castletown um, in days of your saying your sort of 10 miles or 9 miles from Castletown. It's going. a bit big for a milestone, isn't it? Well, it is a bit taller, but a lot of the other milestones that you see, are the pavement, as you know, the one at Governor's Bridge, the pavement has been brought up, so therefore part of the stone is missing. It could even be um, Major Tubman's dog or something is buried here. <laughs> Actually, there are, I think, um, uh, animal headstones in the in the grounds of the nunnery in any event so this is a this is a puzzle this little, is a little, little mystery this yeah. is a, an ongoing one for our listeners please come a spit on in fact the more people that spit on it it might reveal the lettering <laughs> um come and have a look uh, do your spitting and um uh, come up with some suggestions or perhaps somebody somewhere may actually have the the true answers to what this stone is set into the wall well, are you convinced, though, that it is slate and not some of that black concrete of Mr. Wade's? I don't think it's Mr. Wade's patent black concrete. If it was, it would help us date it a bit more. Um, and I'm sure, um, as his grandson was very proud of his grandfather's uh, patent black concrete, that it would have been in far better nick than what we're seeing today. Well, I can't afford to get cholera tonight, so here goes. The Odd Pod. Odd Pod.